All right, so people have been asking me, what is a pack seaman? What is a pack airman? So your recruiter or your liaison might have explained this to you as going in undesignated, right? You do not have a rate. In my best opinion, okay, and also, you know, experiences from my friends who were you know, undesignated or who are still undesignated is pick a rate before you join. If you can, try not to be undesignated. Try not to be pack seaman, pack airman. Now, people usually are stuck with that because they get a low ASVAB score and, you know, they can't retake it for whatever reason or, you know, whatever reason, situation you might be in. And then you are stuck with it and then you leave, right? So here is kind of the downfall of being a pack seaman, pack airman, okay? Now, there's nothing wrong with it, okay? But in the big picture here is how it hurts you, right? If you go in undesignated, right? You do not have a rate. So the maximum uh, rank you can achieve is E3, okay? You can't go any higher. You can't get E4, E5. You can't put on a penny officer because you do not have a rate, okay? So to give you an example, a friend of mine, she's a logistics specialist like myself. I used to work with her. She's been in the Navy for four years, and she spent one year of that as a logistics specialist. And she, for three years, she spent it as undesignated, right? So she came in as E1. It only takes a year and a half for you to uh, be E3, become E3, right? So she spent a year and a half uh, becoming E3, and she spent that other year and a half, right, unable to get promoted, unable to move up. Right. Depending on how you come in and, and what you do, you might have been able to take the advancement exam three to four times. Right. Had you had a rate. Right. So that's a big deal. Right. If within four years. Right. That could either mean you cut, you go out of the Navy as, you know, either uh, E4 or E5. Right. But if you come in a designated now, I don't know the exact process. Your recruiter might have said, oh, you go in, you work in different jobs and then you pick. Right. He might have explained it in that very uh, easy way. But uh, in, from my observation, from my friends, it's actually more difficult than that. And my friends uh, always said, there's a guy named I know, a guy I know, his name is Jesse. He said, tell them always pick a rate before you join, it gets hairy. The process of picking a rate, it gets hairy, it gets difficult because you take tests and you know many different things. I forgot exactly everything he said to me, but um, that is my best recommendation, right? Pick a rate before you go, if you can, right? If you can't, if your ASVAB score is too low, you take it again and it's still too low, then you, know, you can't really do much about it, but I'm just giving you kind of a heads up up front, okay? So I hope that helped. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a great Navy day.